brace yourself for sheer epicness because today I'm going to be revealing the Walking Dead action figure lot. Is this action figure lot a paradigm of resound perfection? Is this action figure lot the epitome of resound perfection? Is this action figure lot the embodiment of resound perfection? That's subjective. That's for you to determine. You could assess these figurines down to the nitty gritty details to, to determine whether or not they warrant hefty, exorbitant, staggering premium prices. In my humble objective opinion, when I use the Toy Biz Marvel Legends as the benchmark for comparison. These figurines just do not warrant their asking prices. Why do I say this? Well, unlike the Toy Biz Marvel Legends figurines, they do not come bundled with appendages for a gigantic Build-A-Figure. These figurines do not have shadings, nor hues, nor aesthetics, nor accessories, nor deco, nor textures, nor paint washings, nor highlights, nor features, nor novelties are to par with the Toy Biz Marvel Legends figurines, but putting all that aside, I just don't think that these figurines are stupendous. They're relatively mediocre. I don't know anything about these characters. I'm not well acclimated with the series. However, if you're an avid, devout, walking dead fan, then perhaps you'll have a proclivity to buy these figurines. Why would they be able to tickle your fancy? Well, I likely they likely embody the characters that you relish watching on the big screen. They likely allow you to um, embellish your room There's more figurines that you do not need. I'm trying to think what else I should notify you, but um Oh yeah, so the line um, commands a hefty premium price of $59.49. Of course, you have autonomy to haggle down the price. You can make an offer. Hopefully, the seller will concede your offer. The seller doesn't make any concessions, and um, you have to succumb to the nearly $60 price tag. But um, if you love the series, then by all means, consider buying the lot. Why do I say that? Well, you have seven characters here. You're not paying the new price for these figurines. You're getting them for a used price. They seem to be in relatively decent condition. And if they embody, if they, embody, if they represent, if they um, portray your favorite characters, then why not get them if you relish the series? If you deem the series to be enthralling and engrossing, then consider getting them. If you detest and disdain the series and abstain from getting the law. So... That's my um, humble opinion right there. You have figures such as um, Rick and um, the Muzz Zombie and um, Gareth and Carol and Morgan and the Trap Zombie and Andre. So, not a lot that appeases me, but at the same time, I guess it's not that bad considering you're paying under nine dollars per figurine even though they're relatively mediocre even though you have to settle for insipid mediocrity if this is your only way to procure walking dead figurines and by all means procure them so my opinion varies depending on the context so that's everything i want to do notify you of that's my um opinion those are my sentiments and um Hopefully gain some insights. I hope that you found this video to be intriguing. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.